Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at the one of the most funny symbols that we see in mathematics, which is the greater than or less than symbol. Now, I know that working with a lot of level 1 kids over the last few years, they always get confused about which side does the arrow point towards. I mean, we've had conversations about uh, crocodiles, mouths opening up, and a few other things. Now, real simple, all right? Um, it all depends on the direction of... Um, wherever the big no biggest number is. And sometimes it's actually best to write it down. All right, so what do I mean by that? I can actually say that seven is more than three, or I could actually say three is less than seven. Now, are both of these statements true? Yes, they are, because seven is more than three, and three is less than seven. And pretty much what that means is that when you're actually writing the symbols, I could actually write it instead of writing is more than I simply put this symbol there and as for the other side I would actually put it as 3 is less than 7 so basically you know if you're ever in doubt you're not, not sure which um, symbol to actually to put down then what would I what would I suggest to you guys is to actually to write down the statement as it is um, and then once you write it down then you should be able to put down uh, the correct symbol all right so the other way that i like to think about it is that if i think about the greater than or less than symbol um it kind of is looking like a little arrow all right so you've got this arrow that's actually um pointing um i could actually say that um, wherever the symbol is pointing towards that's generally tends to be the smaller number so quick sets of examples here so let's put a couple of examples and let's see what this sign is going to look like. So I'm going to put down these numbers here and then you guys can actually kind of have a play around with this just to see um, if you're actually happy with it or not. Uh, 7 and 9 and then we'll go 10 and 12. So if you look at it like this, um, so we can actually say that uh, 4 is less than 6 and because it's less than 6, that's what we're using, the, uh, the less than symbol. And then here I can actually say 7 is actually greater than greater than 9. No, 7 is not greater than 9. Sorry, I was looking at something else. 7 is actually less than 9. So we're going to have to actually put this there. And 10 is actually less than 12. So we put that there. Now let's put up another couple of examples there so that you guys get the hang of it. And I was supposed to mix it up, but um, yeah, I kind of just got carried away. Uh, all right, try these questions here. Uh, 10 and 15. And we're going to go 12 and 9. So if you look at question EFG, wow, I forgot my D completely. Talk about, talk about botches here. There we go, much better DEF. All right, so let's have a look at this. 7 is greater than 3 or is more than 3. So we're going to be using uh, the greater than symbol. 10 is actually less than 15. And because it's less than 15, we're going to be using this one here. And finally, 12 is also less than 9, which means we will actually use the symbol. Um, yeah, pretty much that's the gist of it for greater than or less than symbol, guys. Um, it is useful to kind of um, learn this. Why? Because when you start getting into level 1 maths or level 2 maths, uh, uh, particularly if you're aiming at the excellence level types of questions or even sometimes understanding some more than or uh, less than word questions, uh, it's definitely useful to know these symbols um, but like I said if you're always uh, having doubts just write the word as it is and then remember the uh, the symbols that you got to use all right so greater than is going to look like this uh, less than is going to look like this cool that's basically it for the short little video guys um, as always thank you for watching and uh, catch you at the next video